Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia, where we last left off, we were fighting the Red Gigas. Now, we're going to desperately change tactics this time, because let's just say what we tried just was very ineffective. What we're going to do, we are going to focus and build up some precious, precious points, and we, yeah, well, let's focus... We're not going to attack the feet this time, and we're going to use magic. If Drachman knows that magic, actually. She does not. Venus should know that magic. We're going to use Increm. Because this will boost our attack and defense, which is going to be pretty pivotal here, I think. Also, we will always attack the head. Now, unfortunately, what we could have, what we should have, I should say, is a secondary cannon. But we don't have the secondary cannon because the enemy that should have dropped it didn't drop it. So we got very unlucky. But we can always buy a secondary cannon another time anyway. So the secondary cannon allows us to fire twice in one turn, I think, because you can use your main guns and your secondary guns. I think it's something like that. Uh, but either way, it's very helpful in this fight. But we don't have it, so we can't use it. That is okay. Let's just focus as much power as we can. And we're just going to have to hit the head with everything we have. Admittedly, is isn't a great amount. And instead of using repair packs to repair the ship, we're going to use magic to repair the ship. Because the repair pack will heal uh, 4,000 health, whereas this spell will heal 8,000 health. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't believe it. So, what we're going to do, we've got 26. Let's... Main cannon... Main cannon, and we are going to have to, with Fina, use magic. It is a sacre. Four thousand cannot be used. Ah, does she not have? Ah, that's a pain. Does anybody have that? No, that's problematic. Well, that's fine. Again, if we don't have it, we can't use it. So, we are definitely going to want to try and knock this thing off balance. And then I guess we're just going to have to use repair kits. Uh, attack. Should we attack again? There's no real point in attacking again. We might as well just focus. going to be a very slow drawn out battle sadly preparing attack come on let's get some health back main cannon main ha cannon hit but is it enough to knock it off Yeah, we don't really have the firepower to knock it off guard. Ooh, and we're down and out. This is going to be a horrendously difficult fight. Um, yeah, this is going to be very bad. Considering that was with us buffing as well, it is a brutal opening fight. Still, we're just going to do what we can. I guess we're just going to have to try and focus some power. We're definitely going to want the magic. Ah, Ica has the ability to heal uh, 8,000 health. Right, that's worth remembering. Um, okay. Can she also increm? Yeah. Not that, that increm really seems to do much. We can try hitting. 
No. We're going to be out of power. We can try hitting it on the turn, but I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. The trouble is we're just not causing enough damage. I do vaguely remember being stuck on the sky. I, I don't know. I can't remember, to be honest. I really can't remember. I know we were stuck on one of these. It's going to continuously assess damage. But unfortunately, it isn't just a matter of hitting the head. You've got to hit the head and do enough damage, I believe. Which is fine, because you can take... Uh, tank one or two hits but it's when he attacks multiple times in one round that's when we're going to be in trouble yeah 300 damage is probably the best hit we've given him yet and he still hits yeah oh this is not going to go well for us at all but it is what it is okay what was that? A few more hits like that and we're done for. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. So, we really need to open this up by healing. Uh, see, the trouble is, on the turn that we need Ica to heal is the turn that we need to be fighting. So, that's not brilliant. Main cannon. Let's try and heal that very... Well, actually, if we're going to use that, we might as well use some magic to make sure we're topped off on max health. And then we really need to stack some focus. Now, is that going to knock him off guard? I honestly don't think so. But we have no choice. It does appear that we always seem to go first. Yeah. I mean, he can't actually one-shot kill us. Which is good. But he can definitely two-shot us. Yeah. So, no. We're just not doing enough damage. Oh, God, that hurts. Man, that really hurts. And that is with us being buffed. You can see the predicament that we're in. This is a very savage, brutal battle. Because, unfortunately, this is one of those battles that comes out of nowhere. And we've never experienced a combat like this before. And there's no way to really, without knowing this game well. There's no way to properly prepare for this battle. What are we supposed to do to beat this thing, Captain? Yeah, um, we're gonna go straight for his head. Right. So. I think this is where it actually explains that we can go for his head. So we're gonna go for main cannon. We're gonna get Ica use her magic to repair us. Uh, unfortunately, we've only got Fina, really. I don't think we're buffed anymore, either. But, it is what it is. And then we're going to have to get some focus back. Yeah, literally scratched his head. Gave him a little bit of a scratch. I think that, like I said as well, the trouble with these, these uh, sky battles is, you know, you can be 15 minutes into this and then lose, and then you have to redo the thing all over again. It is pretty savage. I mean, one good thing is that it does let you retry straight from here, but we can't actually disengage this battle and try something else. You can't go and grind and level up. Once you're on this bit here, you're on this bit here. Yeah, and he hits us. We just cannot do enough damage. Oh, 7,000 damage. Oh, God. 
That's so painful. But as long as we can keep healing, we should be okay. We really do need to hit him with our harpoon gun, though. So. Right. Let's think about this. What we need to do. We're going to want to use that. Because we need to buff. We want to... How much... Yeah, we can technically use that. There. Okay. Cool. Right, we've got enough points to do everything we need, which is fine. So magic. Let's get that rolling out there. And we can use that there. And then we will stack some points. Like I say, as long as we're careful, we should be okay. But it's just going to be a battle of attrition. At least we're back up to full health. He shouldn't ever be able to one-shot us. I say that. But I don't know for sure. We should also be able to, if we use our primary weapon here, it should knock him off guard. And we should get plus 25% damage on this as well. Admittedly, that's still not a lot. Yeah, we knocked his head out. So this should now, in theory, miss. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That was good. That's what we needed. But we really need to build up our focus again. But we're going to have to hit him many, many, many more times. I don't know how much health this thing has, but it's really high. Yeah, we did it. We knocked it off balance. Yeah, but, well, it doesn't look like we did any damage to it, though. I don't know how long we can keep this up. It just feels like we're the only prolonging our own deaths. It's got to have a weakness, so we're going to concentrate our fire on its head. Let's try attacking its heads. We may get hit in the process, but we need to take a chance. Let's bring the little jack in closer. Yeah, unfortunately, we are just going to have to tank it. So we're going to go for that. Unfortunately, yeah, see, this is the problem. Ooh. Ooh. So we've got two chances here to hit it with a spirit. But we can't do any of that. <laughs> because we only have 14. That requirement to have 15 spirit points is absolutely savage. That is so many points. Um, I guess all we can really do... I mean, we can try and hit it with a main cannon. But I don't think we're really going to get a lot of luck there. What Fina can do is hit us with a repair kit afterwards. Yeah, we could actually go down here. Right, Ica, what I'm going to need you to do is use Sacris. But we're going to need you to use Sacris there. And then, Fina. I guess we're just going to have to tank it. Because we need to build up the points. We need to stack spirit points. That's all we can do. And we're just going to have to hope that we survive. I mean, if we could get a nice amount of spirit points so we could literally unleash this cannon twice in one round, that would be pretty devastating to it. Yep, 
That's gonna hurt. But luckily, we're about to get a full reheal. Again, it costs spirit points, but it will mean we'll survive. The only uh, offensive option that we have that makes sense is our cannon. As long as we can tactically heal ourselves. Oh, that hurts so much. Oh, my God. Dude. Damn, nothing. We got in as close as we could, but our cannons did almost nothing to it. It's no use, boy. The only thing we're managing to do is damage our own ship. We can't continue fighting like this for much longer. We must retreat for now. Get us out of his range of his attacks, boys. We need to think of a new strategy. Um, retreat and regroup. Hmm, not sure what to do here. It, I don't know if we go to retreat and regroup. If that means we'll actually back off. Or if we continue fighting. Uh... Well, I think I'm going to retreat and regroup. You're right, Captain. I suppose we've got no other choice. Well then, full speed ahead. Get out of range of that thing's attacks. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way we can take that thing on. Absolutely no way. Nothing is working. If we keep fighting it head on, we're going to lose. Hey, Fina, can you think of a way to stop it? Gigas don't make their own decisions. They only obey commands given to them by the ones who awaken them. Until Belzia commands it to stop, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. So if something was to happen to Belzia... I've got it. I know how to stop that thing. You mean... <laughs> you mean attack Belzia's ship? You mean ram into the Gigas? You mean attack Belzia's ship, right? If we can stop her, we can force her into calling off the, the Gygas. <laughs> you got it. That's a good idea. Either way, we'll last longer against her than we will against that thing. Alright, full rudder. Target Belzia's ship. All hands on death. Let's go. Aye, Captain. Let's go. Yeah, we've got to have more of a chance against her. Oh, we're going straight in. I'm hoping that, oh boy, I'm hoping we've been healed. The Lynx. Let's bring the Lynx down. <laughs> Meet my flagship, the Lynx. Now I will show you the true power of the Imperial Armada. My magic cannon will take care of that little ship of yours. Well, uh, we did not get healed. Because, of course, we didn't get healed. Ah, uh, ugh. Right, okay. Let's start using some repair kits because, you know, they're free. Um, let's start focusing up some power too. Right, so, repair kit doesn't use spirit power. I'm hoping she doesn't really have anything. Yeah, she's going to use Increm, which we really need to do as well. If we use it, that will cancel out hers. But before we do anything, we need to patch this thing up. Cool. Alright. Pyrie. Yeah, that's cool. Pyrie, we can we can stand against that. That's fine. And she's taking aim. Okay. As long as we can make her taste our ultimate weapon, we should be good to go. Got enough points to use it. Really don't want to have to use any of that spirit power on anything other than attacking. Yeah, 2,000 down. That's not bad, actually. We can easily tank that. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we want to... 
for anything, we're going to want to use Increm. And then, let's use some repair kits. Back, let's use another repair kit, because we're going to take damage. Let's pop off a cannon. Or actually, just keep stacking. That's going to help us. Oh, God. Didn't help us as much as I thought. That's nearly 3,000 damage. Oof. Might need to start using magic to heal. Yeah, we need... We, oh, torpedoes. Oh, torpedoes suck. Torpedoes can cause an incredible amount of damage if you combine them. Because if I remember, torpedo, you can choose when it strikes. So you can, yeah, you can concentrate the torpedo to hit at the same time as a powerful cannon blast and stack masses amount of damage. But even still, that's only about 5,000 damage. We can take that. She's going to go in for some evasive action. That's fine. Okay, damn, the Lady Admiral's good. It's almost as if she can read our every move. Face, I can't find any opening. Her defense is too good. What should we do? Um, try and get behind her ship. Let's try that. Huh? Where does she go? Damn it, boy, you let her get behind us. Now she's got a clear shot at her backside. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be so predictable, handsome. It's almost disappointing. Battles aren't always won with brute strength. Sometimes knowing how to read your enemy can be the key to an easy victory. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, but we have plenty of... We have plenty of spirit points now. So what we can do... Let's start shooting back. Although... Yeah, let's start shooting back. Main cannons. So at least try and do some damage. That's going to take us down to 21. And then what we'll do... Actually, Ica, what I want. I want you, magic. Um, I guess... If we get her to use her magic to heal... Probably in that turn. And then if we use a repair kit here and Drachma you can take a shot at her because your attack power has got to be pretty high see how that goes sub cannon well, at least the sub cannon doesn't do too much Main cannon lost. Great. That definitely wasn't great. Ah, at least the sub cannon missed as well. So, swings and roundabouts. And we also got a nice full heal too. So, a bit premature, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's done. With Tickler with the main cannon. Actually, the main cannon does more damage to her than I thought it would. So there's that. Now she's going in for some evasive action. Damn, she's too good. I can't find any openings. Boy, we need to get into a good position to fire the harpoon cannon. Um, set engines to full speed and get behind her. Wait and see what she does. Guess we can... Oh, God. I don't really know the best decision to make here. Let's try that. Lady Belza, the enemy vessel is... 
trying to circle around us at what appears to be their top speed. Their ship may be fast, but we only need to ensure that they don't get into position to fire the harpoon gap. Oh, oh, but we've now got a nice opening. We've got plenty of spirit points too. So, we're going to get attacked on the last turn here. So, let's give it some of that. Ica, I want you. They're probably going to concentrate all of their fire at us, but I want you to use Sacrius there. We're also a little bit. Uh, let's go to guard on that turn. We're also a little bit um, low on mana, which isn't good. So we're not going to have these uh, big powerful hills for much longer. That's fine. She can take aim as long as we're tanking the damage. Oh god, we really do rock her ship with that. Come on. That's it. We're going to get a nice shot. Nice good old shot with that harpoon cannon. Let's give it some evasive action. Nice. Oh, God. That was needed. That was needed. This isn't fair. Why won't she just sit still like everybody else does? How does she expect her to hit us? Ah, stop. That's a risky maneuver. Do that. I don't think she would expect that, would she? Right, complete stop. First thing we're going to do. Uh, let's use... Vase has got to have a pretty high attack power. So let's get him to use the primary weapon. Ica, I want you to use a repair kit. Actually, Fina can use the repair kit. Ica can use the main cannon there. Fina, use a repair kit. And Drachma can use the main gun. We're going to use a lot of our power here, or a lot of our spirit points, but we need to. Yeah, that hurts. Definitely going to have to patch up after. Ooh, nice. So we've taken off nearly a quarter of our health. Yes. That was nice. Here we go. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, God. Yeah, that did it. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. We should be able to finish her off with the main cannons now. Link torpedoes away. Ah, oh, we missed. Son of a bitch. That's fine. This will hurt. That's fine. We can tank it. Everything is under control. Vice Captain, what just happened? We were on their tail and suddenly he's behind us. Well, um, the enemy vessel suddenly stopped and we passed them. What? Their speed was their biggest advantage. You mean to tell me they just stopped? Damn, he's not as predictable as I thought. Can't keep f uh, fighting him this way. Need to take him out quickly. Now's our chance. Our defenses are breaking down. It's time to open fire. Oh, yes. So, what we're going to do... Give her some of that. Give her... Actually... Right. Main cannon. 
Give her some main cannon. You, I want you to... You've got two MP left. Go for a full heal. Fuck it. we go for some of that. And some of that. We should take her out. Nice. She's going to struggle to take us out in one turn. Don't think it's impossible. Oh, she healed herself. Bitch. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. We're still scraping by. Just. There go the torpedoes. I guess this isn't going to be quite the decisive victory I was hoping for. Oh, that did like nothing. We really need to at least null and void the health she just healed. At a bare minimum. That's it. Oh, she's almost done. Almost done. If we can hit her again with our primary cannon. Ooh, that wasn't that bad. Right, we can use our primary weapon again. No, we can't. Because we don't have enough points. So, we're just going to hit her with the main guns. Um, Fina, use a repair kit. We can use the main guns there too. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully we can just chip away at her. Just do the chip damage. That sub cannon. Ooh, nice. Does hurt. But it doesn't hurt that much when it misses. Nice. Oh, she's done. Get out of here, bitch. Alright, that was a hard fought battle. But a good one. I enjoyed that. Nice amount of gold, too. Excellent. Not bad. Take that, you arrogant bitch. So we've got another Captain Stripe. We've got Magic Cannon, which is nice. And a 3-inch Blaster. Sweet. Ica, signal Belzia's ship. Tell them that we'll attack if they don't call off the Gygus. Aye, aye, that. Now, all we need is for that Lady Admiral to listen to our demands. <laughs> don't worry, Captain. Belzia is not the kind of person that would needlessly sacrifice the lives of her crew. I'm sure she'll call off the Gygus. <sighs> Belzia, please. Oh, shut up, Peter. Uh oh. Please, look, the Gigas. Oh, is it going back? There was a reply from Belzia's ship. We have called off the Gigas. We are making an emergency landing. I repeat, we have called off the Gigas. We are making an emergency landing. We did it. That's one Admiral defeated. At least for now. Wow, we really bang that shit up pretty good. You may have won the battle, but you're far from winning the war. There are five crystals left. The Valiant Armada will never make the same mistake twice. You shall not defeat us again. And we won't make the same mistake of underestimating you again either. We'll get those crystals. Fina, where should we go next? Southwest of Nassar, but on beyond the South Ocean, there is a continent under the Green Moon. Really? There's a continent on the other side of the South Ocean? Yeah, the Green Crystals should be there. Ha! <laughs> That's where the continent of Aksitaka? Our soldiers are already there. Besides, the South Ocean has a strong headwind. You'll never make it across with that tiny ship of yours. No need to worry about that. 
we're taking your ship's engines. With that much power, we can get across the South Ocean in no time. Nice. What? Then how am I going to get back? We all decided that you should go back on foot. You trick us, we take your engine. I think we're even now. <laughs> <laughs> what was that saying? Only those who have walked through the desert can truly know its size? Nice. You you want me to walk? Yeah. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. I never actually thought I would truly know the size of the desert. Hey, handsome. You win this time, but Valio is more powerful than you can imagine. And the trip to uh, Ixataka is long and perilous. The chance that you'll survive long enough to get there is pretty slim. Are you sure you still want to go? You still have time to reconsider. <laughs> Real sailors aren't afraid of the unknown. I want to see the world. I'm not going to rest until I've left my mark on it. And I won't let anybody or anything stand in my way. I understand. You're rash and impulsive. I hope you survive long enough for us to meet again. I personally hope you die in the desert, bitch. But I guess we can't all have what we want. You received the red moon crystal. Well, well, well. That went a little bit differently than I remember. It looks like we picked up a magic cannon from the Lady Admiral. Using this, we'll be able to fire cannonballs charged with magical energy. Just like Belzia was doing, right? That's great, Vase. Did you hear that? We should really put this thing to good use. Be careful, though, boy. Using magic cannon uses up MP just like normal magic, so don't go too crazy with it. Oh, I'm pretty sure we'll be going crazy enough with it in time. So we've got Captain Strike that we can use on little jack to bolster its uh, health but like i said i'm not really sure i'm thinking about saving those um pretty sure that's what we're going to do but anyway i'm going to save this game here guys because wow <laughs> we're on like nearly 40 minutes that was quite the battle indeed and uh, we've got a lot of little things to catch up on and get sorted we've got some busy work to do but we'll start that in the next episode so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time